Hi and welcome to this weekend tower love reading. My name is Sophia. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. So what I was getting was um, trying to get planets, trying to get light workers, star seeds, uh, people, who have, well everyone really, together in love. And it doesn't seem like that. I feel that there's a uh, it's like the lovers to the seven of swords was the energy I'm getting. And the deception was because you was lying to yourself about something. So, and the extreme extremity of what you was lying to yourself about is reflecting on the outside, particularly with your person. Um, also the deception that might be showing or something that you're not happy with with your person which you're like they're lying to themselves say there's a third party they're lying to themselves they they shouldn't be with this person or they're lying to me about something seven of swords to the lovers it's like going deeper that's what most of humanity don't do they don't go deep enough so the work will be why are they lying to themselves why are they with that person and then, and then reflect to yourself, well, okay, I do something, seven of swords to myself. Your person is here to teach you something always, always. Um, it's too close to you generally for you to figure it out, right? Um, but generally that's what it is. So it's it's getting everyone together, but more so light workers to do their work, to do what they're here to do on this planet. So let's see what the cards say. Um, check out the Facebook group. Um, we have tons of uh, additional stuff in there. All of us who are in mission um, work work are in face posting Facebook group. So check that out. Oh, your person's from the off straight away. Oh my gosh, check out these two cards. Your person committing to you. Four of Wands is Twin Flame. Like I said, the initial energy is the planet trying to get Hierophant is Twin Flame Lightworker Star Seeds, right? Your person and Twin Flame, right? Twin Flames together, Lightworkers together. That's what this initial... Oh, well, look at that. Victory. That's what they're trying to do. <laughs> All right. So let's let's see what's going on here. So that's pretty straightforward. Hierophant, four of wands, six of wands. But I'll go in deeper. So like I say, the Hierophant has the twins in it. <laughs> so this is about um, your person following some uh, religious structure or tradition or culture of why they say stuck or... Mm, why they're not with their twin flame but this is the planets waking them up to study the twin flame because hierophant is learning and stop coming away from the social norms of how things should be because hierophant is connected to that as well um fourth ones is yeah there's something about I'll give an example of what I'm picking up with these two cards. Say I was, say you could be Simon Cow or someone, I don't know, but most people know Simon Cow, came up to you and said, listen, say you can sing, right? You can be a famous, international, well-known singer, right? Or then I come along and say, uh, or you could be a twin flame. But twin flame, you have to be quite private. That's this, choosing which one <laughs> and recognising that this social norm of being seen out there, because two cars are being seen to me, out there is doing the right thing, doesn't make them happy, four of wands. Knowing they're committed to you and this blow up with this tower, this death card and this break up with all people to separate so you know, um, when it's too close to you, the tower comes in to break up your foundation so you can see it clearly. So it's broken up something 
and it's like so that you come away you know when you lose something then you recognize what it is kind of thing that's why the feminines want their twin flames it seems more than the masculines because they keep running and when you lose something you normally recognize what you've lost so this tower had to come in to make you pull back so now that they can see well i'm doing i have lost my person due to keeping to a social norm of doing something 3d which i don't really want when so it's a choice and um obviously like i said the simon cow cow i don't know his name whatever situation it's like yeah that will make you rich but twin flame happiness when you're aligned with your person there's no money that can pay for that if i could bottle it i'll be minted that connection soulmates will pay for it all day long right so that's what your person's recognizing i'm looking good i'm looking good but I never forget, it's stuck in my head for ages. I remember I used to like the Spice Girls. That's years ago now. And I remember Victoria Beckham, there was an interview, and I didn't watch all of it, but I remember she was like, someone was like, um, do you love the tours and going and, and seeing all the different countries and all that? And she said, to be honest, she said, a hotel room is a hotel room. And all we do is go in a hotel room. And she said, it could be in China, it could be in Africa, it could be in UK, a hotel room. We're not allowed out, we're so famous, we don't get to go around, especially on tour. So you see a different perspective. Then she said, well, on every tour, we do the same songs over and over and over and over. Right? Completely changed my perspective on famous. And she's like, so when I'm singing something, she's like, I've got in my head, because I know it automatic, my shopping list, what film I'm going to watch later. Why I'm saying that is that this is your person, the Hierophant. It looks good, right? Six of Wands to the Hierophant. It looks good, but underneath, it's it's not what what they really want. And I saw another interview, and I don't know why, I wasn't really into Victoria Beckham or anything like that. And she was like, I, um, someone said, if your house burnt down, what would you grab in there? One thing. And she said, I wouldn't grab a thing. She said, I would live in a cardboard box with David. That's her person, right? So once again, this is this energy, why I'm saying about her. It's like the money can't buy that connection. Now, I don't know if they're twin flames, to be honest. And I don't think so. But anyway, there are lovers, soulmates that stay together forever. But I don't think Victoria Beckham and that is twin flames. But my point is, is that that is this. It's like looks good, but don't have that connection of looking good. The twin flame kicks ass when it's then looking good all the time. When you see all the famous people and you when whenever you see like um movies with um explanate um storylines of famous people and stuff generally you know like our last one i watched which was brilliant elton john but it was a musical it was weird it was a musical i love this young guy who does this acting on it anyway uh, it was a mu obviously I thought oh yeah of course he's Elton John it was a musical but it was about his story how he grew up I don't know what he's called anyway my point is drugs uh, you know alcohol they always got that because they're doing the same old mundane thing everyone thinks they're happy because they're rich they've got all these places but they're not really now I'm not saying your person is a superstar but you know really they are aren't they star seed superstar so that's this energy here six of wands is a bit different slightly because but it's still connected because six of wands is see there's other people around your person so this is why they were trying to keep these other people happy it's interesting four five six um to me anyway so it's like i just got to keep myself happy because your person here mr knight or mrs knight in shining armor armor with their victory wreath 
instead of keeping these happy, right? Baby's mum's mum, two babies' mum, mateys, my dad, all them, like five of ones, interference, external and internal interference, one wand. I just got to keep myself happy. And myself keeps happy with this. So it's some kind of social norm. And like I said with the initial energy, it's like, what social norm are you following? Because you're like, to me, what they're doing doesn't make sense because of they align with me. And it's much better. But when you um doing something on an automatic, you don't really see it. It's way too close to you. Like I said, that's why the planets have done this massive blow up tower and death card judgment all combined to so that you can see it clearly what 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 kind of ties both of you are tied to this is a good this looks a bit what's going on here oh this is the what the outcome should be right but let's see the underneath queen of swords so you oh look queen so you're both it's good because you're both logicating queen of swords and king of swords but the, they're the worst couple in the deck so there's like um overall i feel that because there may have been a third party of someone else you may be thinking about having someone else as well what i'm picking up because your person left you out in the cold. You're waiting for your person to come back. Yes, they could have been committed elsewhere. And you're going to cuss them out. <laughs> but like I said, it's not, it's really hard. But that's what mastery is about. Non-judgment and unconditional love. And the mastery comes into it. Without letting people walk all over you. Or take the piss out of you. But doing it with unconditional love and mastery. Right? That's mastery. For example, twin flames don't normally you have someone who beats you up. Right? That's not a twin flame scenario in the slightest. But say you was having someone who was hitting you and beating you up. Right? Just saying, oh, well, I'm a light worker. Unconditional love. And allowing them is not how it rolls, right? This is whatever they're doing over there, figuring out why they do it. Because this planet, that's part of this light, well, four of wands, part of your contract. You have someone who perceives to be really bad. If they were a soulmate, you would have ditched them from a long time. You wouldn't even be watching Tarot or listening to me now. So you have to have this massive connection you're like, fuck's sake, they treat me like shit, they treat these people like shit, they do their kids like shit, whatever, right? This is your perception, what you think, right, about your person. And they keep me out in the cold and all this. But then it's like, but why am I still attracted to want to go back? Because the contract is that why do you figure out why they do that? That is where the unconditional love and non-judgment comes in. Because there's so much casting blame and um, stuff on humanity, which is, uh, you know, people, like people do something. So say you're, I'll give an example. Say you're walking down the street and someone just bumps into you. And you'll be like, what the fuck? You know, you can't look where you're going and stuff like that. That person might have just heard on the phone their mum died. There's so much not going in deeper. And that's what we're here about. You know, you go for a job. What's your criminal um, record? And someone might have has a criminal record for stealing and not get the job. But light workers are here to say, well, why did they steal? Maybe they stole at a very young age because their parents were st stole and they saw that as normal. Or they were left abandoned at home whilst their mum and dad were drunk or partying, so they had to steal to get. That's what this is. 
This is why you're a light worker star seed. That's why I've done the counseling. That's why we can help you with counseling. Go in deeper. You are all supposed to be counselors, right? You can do it as a job, as if we do it in mission, or literally that's why you're an empath and a sensitive. And that's why your person has such this drama, as you would call it, right? For you to figure it out. And once you figure it out, then the non-judgment comes in and the unconditional come love comes naturally. If your person is cheating left, right and centre with several people, and then your perception is that they treat their children bad, right? And don't stay at a job, drinking or doing drugs, right? Perception is lazy, right? You might cuss them out, fucking idiot, treating women or men bad, sleeping around, cheating on me, la la la, not giving me anything, blah, blah, blah. Here's where this comes in. Then you go deeper, which you can't see it, counselling. Right. And I say to you, someone in mission, Lorraine, says to you in counselling, tell me about your person's past history or we look at the, your image, your person's I image. But we won't tell you. We don't really go too deep. But you normally know. Right. About their history, even if you don't. Right. We can relay it to you. Sexual abuse, abandoned. This is your person. Right. Neglect. Um, or or some kind of stuff like that. Then they attract a karmic, like attracts like like that, right? External. They have external drama. Yours is inside. So how much drama they have, you have inside. So once I say to you, for example, Lorraine, I'm just giving an example of anyone in mission. You book Lorraine for counselling, and she'll say, but hold on a minute. All that what you're complaining about your person, they may that just say. This is imaginary, so I'm not pinpointing anyone. Your person has suffered sexual abuse from a young age, abandonment from parents who, who told them, didn't feel that they could tell their parents that they were abused in church. So they followed some kind of culture or religion of not up telling their parents or going to church all the time to look good. Then they uh, became promiscuous because of the sexual abuse and had all these children, and then their parents was like, settled down with a person you had the kids from, even though they didn't love them, they just had kids from being promiscuous from the sexual abuse. That's when judgment and um, non-judgment and unconditional love come. Then how can you cuss out your person when you hear the story? That's why his story, do you hear that? His story. You need to find out the history of humanity that's why you're a light worker that's why you're twin flame right and then when you find out oh well the, the trigger point should be the drama as within so without so you understand them then you're like okay i attracted this person because as within so without and i am aligned to this twin flame four of wands so i'll go within and i'll do the work within and then it will align with my person without and that's when the tower blows up with your person because you're doing the work. So they see the drama from the five of wands or other people, internal conflict. So this king on queen of swords, this is about arguments, right? Um, I think your person is logicating and maybe cutting off people, the five of wands, to become victory, victorious and going towards his or her passion. Underneath is the strength. The strength card. So this is getting the strength to pull you back together from understanding why you separated in the first place. If you do not understand, right, or you're so pissed off, or there's, if my person's over there, book counselling. I don't know what else to say. We'll make you see it from a different point of view. So that you understand it. And then you take that knowledge and um, put it onto other people you will counsel. I have Go check out my mission page. I have a counselling program you can use. You can be, oh, I, I, don't, I want to be a counsellor. Loads of people want to be counsellors. I'm like, well, check out my, uh, that's part of mission. Right? 
this is, yeah, this is religion, tradition and stuff like that because Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold outside the church and stuff, abandonment, all sorts. Oh, but Sophia, my person says he had a nice upbringing. What is it? Sometimes they're embarrassed to say it was shit. And sometimes they're delusional to make themselves feel better that it was shit. Like I said, the initial energy is the love of seven of swords. But you're lying to yourself as well. Like, I will say to you, or like I say, anyone in, in mission will say, what's the problem with your person? Does this, 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 this. She does this, 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 this. Tell me about your person. Oh, it was shit. It was a nightmare, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so you're lying to yourself as well because you know that there's something wrong and it will affect them from what you're saying. Wouldn't it affect you what their upbringing is? That's why they react to it. Everyone reacts differently. Is someone, I want, this is, uh, is someone um, punch my child or something in the face? Someone might go over there and punch that person in the face who done it. Another person will say, um, take them out of school. Another person will, um, I don't know, complain to the head teacher. There's different versions of how people react. You judge people from how you will react. That's this. And your person is understanding that I am doing something from what other people believe. Putting them onto their path. Nine of, of Wands is, it's hard work. It's been hard work, but you're nearly there. That's both of you. Ten of Wands is then dropping the burdens. Getting the strength to do it. I have two strength cards. And this strength card, look, third party underneath, is have four ones here, four ones there, which is both of you being committed to this. The sun and the moon, counterparts, twin flame counterparts. So let's get some alien cards. So this is this is the potential outcome. Victoriously, got a twin flame light workers to be together. But um, this cycle will go round and round if you're not careful or you're not doing the correct work this is you trying i'm focused on trying to do it but the trees right the branches are trying to pull you back and that's your belief rooted roots are pulling you back i'm determined see I'm opening up my heart, Sophia, but you're still getting pulled back. That's why um, we are here. So we have a team of people who can help you and support you with this. This is the heart. Love, look, love, forgiveness, compassion, healing, what, what's good for you. What's good for you? That's what I said with your person. What, what is good for me? And, that, and they're recognizing that, but you need to recognize that as well. I've got these as well. Flirt, does your person know how you feel? Uh, it's quite hard because I feel that you feel they are, um, that's your ego. Like if they've done something really bad and you're like, fuck off, I'm not going back to them. But you're a mark, but on the other hand, yeah, I'm a spiritual leader. I'm like, well, mastery comes when you drop the ego, when you understand why the person does it. Flirt, right? And you don't mean you have to go up there, oh, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. But lower your tone, leave the door open. I don't know what else to say. The harder what they've done, right, the more you understand it. But like, I, book counselling, if you want to know how to flirt on a level of what is the extremity of what's happened with you, you must leave the door open. They're already getting abandoned from five of ones from other people, which they're cutting off. Which they're victoriously doing. Nine of Wands, getting the strength to do. Not, nine of Wands, getting the strength to come away from the third party. But anyway, yeah. So this is leaving the door open, which most of you probably haven't done. Or done it incorrectly, right? It may seem like it's taking long, but mastery cannot be rust. You still have more to learn. Hierophant. Like I said, they're mirroring to you. Hierophant is learning, right? You still have more to learn yourself. Look at you, stuck in your cave, not coming out of your comfort zone. 
let's see what your person would say he or she would say if they want you to uh if they if they that they don't normally say put it that way i will message you soon so pull it getting the uh getting the bollocks to the strength to message you right <clears throat> But like I said, you have to leave the door open so they feel they can do that. If you're like, fuck off, I never want to talk to you again. I'm blocking you and blah, blah, blah. blah. How can they do that? Right? But don't go to the extreme of, I understand you. This is a trigger from your past. You need to heal this and get some Reiki's on your third eye. Don't go that way neither. Please don't give up on me right off now like i said go to the uh to the depths of what this is and then work on yourself this isn't for you to be up your ass and say okay i understand my person's been beaten and abandoned as a child so i get back with him and you do nothing as within so without that is a twin flame counterpart to your path their path you're the as within then they're the out the outside so please don't give up me. I need you to make sense of this connection. This one keeps coming out because you lot don't understand the twin flame connection. It's what you need to know. We want to know more book counselling. I am out or counselling start with an image reading, right? You can't have counselling without the image reading first because got to look at you, right, to see because you can tell me anything and I've got to go within and say, now this is what you need to work on. So it's, it's a process. It ain't going to be overnight, but the delay is always you. The delay is always you. And it's good because this community, we do it in bits. So you can start with buying one image reading, then you can buy the program. Then others just put it all together, £2,000 in your face. And it's too much for you to take on. I've worked it out so it works best for you, not me, for you. But I know universal laws, so they, law of reciprocity, hopefully I'm saying that right. So it comes back to me in other ways. So anyway, just start. As Martin Luther King said, you don't need to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Speak to you later.